Hello, I'm Todd Quinn. I'm the Business and Economics Librarian here at the University of Libraries. So I'm going to give you a quick overview for our workshop coming up on Zotero. So I'm on zotero.org slash download that page. And these are the two items that you need to install for the workshop. You do need admin rights to install Zotero and also close your Microsoft products before you do any downloading and installing. So depending on which um, operating system you have, I have Windows, if you have Mac, this will change. So you just download and install. Um, depending on which browser you have, I'm using Chrome. I would use Chrome or Firefox, not any others, because those two work the best with Zotero. And just install it. And what will happen when you install this connector, a little icon will show up in your browser. And this may change depending on which browser you're using. It may be a Z, maybe this. And depending on what website we go to, the icon will change um, often. So just be aware that icon will change. All right. That's what the connector is. And we'll talk about that more in the workshop. So after you install stuff, um, this is my Zotero page. And it has three panels. On the left are your um, folders that you create on your own or groups. In the center are all the items that you collect. Then on the right side it are the records for each item. So this is the record for that one. If I pick a different one, there's a record for that. So all that after you collect all this content, you go to Microsoft Word, and we, you had to close all your stuff here, and there's a Zotero um, tab in your, in your Word. And so while you're typing, I already added one. If I'm typing some more, and I want to add another citation, I hit that. I, uh, I'm going to pick that item, and it adds the citation, and it adds my bibliography. Voila.